Hello and welcome to today's tutorial of Big Dream ICT. My name is Ifani Obioma, your ICT tutor. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about an ICT device called the computer. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to define a computer, know the different classifications of computer, understand the different types of computer, as well as know the different areas of computer application. Looking around us today, you will see that computers are everywhere. But have you ever asked yourself, what exactly is a computer? Based on general definition, a computer can be defined as an electronic device that accepts data as inputs, processes the data, and stores or attributes the processed data as information. From the definition of computer, you can see that computers have the capabilities of performing four major functions which are accepting of data, processing of data, storing of data, and attributing of processed data. After defining the term computer device, let us now see the different classifications of computer. Classifications of computer Computers are classified into different classifications based on their sizes and capabilities. These classifications are microcomputers, mini computers, mainframe computers, and supercomputers. Microcomputers These are smaller sized computers which can easily be carried about. Microcomputers are also known as personal computers. They are called microcomputers because they are small in size and they make use of microprocessors as their central processing units. Microcomputers are general purpose computers and can be used at home for making drawings, budgeting, listening to music, and so on. Laptop computers are examples of microcomputers. They are portable and compact in size and can be carried about to anywhere by the users. Laptop computers can also be called notebooks. Other examples of microcomputers are desktops and cell phones. Mini computers. This is a computer that is larger than microcomputers and smaller than mainframe computers. Its classification falls in between microcomputer and mainframe computer. Mini computer has the capability of supporting hundreds of users at the same time. Mainframe computers. These computers are expensive and have extremely high processing speed. They are larger than mini computers and are used for storing, managing, and processing of large amounts of data. Mainframe computer can support thousands of users simultaneously. Supercomputers Supercomputers are the most powerful computers made and are physically the largest. Supercomputers are built to process huge amounts of data and the fastest ones process more than 1 trillion calculations per second. These computers help in analysis and focus of global weather, mapping of human DNA, and other complex computational tasks. After explaining the four major classifications of computer based on their sizes and capabilities, let us now jump into the types of computers. 
types of computers. Computers are divided into subclasses according to purpose. These three types of computers are digital computer, analog computer, and hybrid computer. Digital computers. These computers processes information in form of digits which are zeros or ones. Digital computers are accurate but not as fast as analog computers. These devices serve general purpose such as making drawings, listening to music, and so on. Analog computers. These computers recognizes data in physical and continuous form and thus do not process binary data. The attributes of these devices are usually measured on graphs, meters, speed, and temperature. Analog computers are high-speed computers but not as accurate as digital computers. Hybrid computers These computers are a combination of analog and digital computers. They are usually used in industries where analog and digital information are required for processing. After looking at the classification of computer system, let us now look at the application of computer. Applications of computer Computer can find its application in virtually every aspect of life. Some of its area of application are education, business, banking, and entertainment. Education Computer can be used for efficient teaching and learning through the use of different information technology devices and also through the help of the internet. Banking Computer has helped the banking sector greatly as customers can check their account information, transfer funds, pay bills from their home using internet or ATM. Entertainment Computer technology has provided a lot of opportunities for entertainment. Computer has found its application in the creation of games, sound production, video production, and so on. Other important areas where computer has also found its applications are in security sector, medical sector, and sports. This is where we will end today's tutorial. In our next tutorial, we will be learning about the different components that make up the computer system. Thanks a lot for watching today's tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Subscribe and press the notification icon to watch more of our YouTube video tutorials. Bye and see you next week.